Well, you can't miss it. We're being bombarded with political ads just filling the airwaves. And not just any ads, though, right? You're noticing Ooh. negative ones appearing more often as we get closer to Election Day. So why is that? Queen 6 political director Ken Boddy is here with the reason. Well, we've had a number of viewers emailing us asking about these negative ads. They have definitely noticed that we're seeing more of them. They say they don't like them. The problem is negative ads seem to work. Lori Chavez Dreamer had her chance. But Lori went along with MAGA extremists in the most divisive Congress in history. But there's one thing I can guarantee you, you won't hear. Janelle Bynum apologizing for her decade of failure. From the race for Oregon's 5th Congressional District to the contentious race for Washington's 3rd. Joe Kent is a danger to America and he's a danger to democracy. We must all say no to Joe Kent. And Marie Perez voted to give men the right to compete in our sports, enter our bathrooms, ogle us in our locker rooms, and even steal our athletic scholarships. Negative ads are all over the place, especially in hotly contested congressional races with national attention. But they have seeped into local and statewide races more so than in the past. Lewis and Clark rhetoric and media professor Joe Gant says negative ads work because they're memorable, to a point. But there is some evidence out there that there's also a backlash and a demoralization when someone sees these negative ads over and over again, that it does make them more cynical about the process. The negative political climate has contributed to greater use of negative political ads. Social media hasn't helped. And with at least three congressional races in Oregon and Washington state that could affect the balance of power in Congress, outside money is fueling much of this negativity. Is the national interest of these races driving some of this? Oh, absolutely. No doubt about it. When you look at the amounts of money that have gone into these races, uh, it, it's sort of astronomical. Um, it, it, it's just hard to believe the amount of money. Uh, and what is even harder to believe is where's the money coming from? National donors and PACs can even roll out negative ads without the approval of the candidate and without reporting their sources until after the election. Now, most negative ads do have some truth to them, but the accusations may be incomplete or taken out of context. So the more negative the ad, the more you should not take it at face value and do your own research before your vote. Now, you will be bombarded with these the closer we get to Tuesday, Election Day. Yeah, we already are being yeah. bombarded. We see it every commercial break right here. Ken, thanks for that perspective. Yeah, right. do your own research. It's so key.